Hi there, I'm Jeanette and I'm here with Helen Griffin of Simply Made Crafts. Hi Helen. Hello. You doing good? Yes, it's good to be back. So happy to have you back and we're so excited for your brand new album collection. Look, just look at everything that you can make with it. It makes me so happy. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> so we have loads of uh, videos about Helen's new line on the Craft Stash YouTube channel, but also we wanted to do a Q&A with Helen just to pick her brain a little bit about how she goes about making mini albums and like memory documenting. And so let's jump into the questions. Are you ready for some questions? I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my first question is, what memories do you document? Well, there's a big cross line in my life <laughs> from before kids and after kids. So before kids, um, I kind of ran out of ideas and yeah. it got quite boring and there wasn't much to scrapbook because it was just me and the cats. Yeah, um, I was going to say, you know, did you have cats and, yeah. like, or pets or something? Exactly, <laughs> you know, it was all about the cats basically. <laughs> and, um, nice. and then after kids, I had no time to scrapbook and a ton of memories. Right. to um, scrapbook so yeah. but don't think that if you're in that situation that you are behind because you're not behind if you're making the memories you're not behind if you're documenting them by taking the photographs you're not behind you have time right. you have time to scrapbook when they get older which is what I'm doing now they're older now I can start doing their baby pages and everything so as long as you're taking the memories and maybe even jotting a few of the, um, important things down you're not behind, yes. you know, there's no catch up there. It so. is one of those things where you can really get, be or feel like you're getting behind. Yes, But definitely. that's comforting to know that. Yeah, I like, hear that all the time on the scrapbook forums, that people are like, oh, I'm, I'm like four years behind on my son's scrapbook, you know, and they feel, it's that guilt yeah. that they have to live with. And, you know, you don't need to feel guilty because you're not behind, you're making the memories, and then, like, like, like the Christmas. You know, yes. It, you yes. Know, you, you, you make the memories and then you document them. Doing them at the same time, you're just going to stress yourself out. So True. <laughs> enjoy yourself. That's all I'm going to say. Now, what inspires the directions that your albums take? Like, how do you pick the papers and the colors? I kind of approach it from both ways. I'm a both ways sort of person. <laughs> I'll see a paper pad and I have to have it, um, you know, like it's hot off the press one and the, the paper paradise one over there. Um, definitely from the papers but then if I do have a specific event I need to scrapbook for I will go out and hunt and shop and <laughs> scour everywhere which I also love to do so I, I approach it from both ends. And what types of things do you include in an album? Obviously there's pictures but what else would you recommend? Everything. <laughs> if you see something and you think that will go in the album, leaflets, postcards, um, I've collected oh, yeah. shells, sand. Shells? Yeah. You know, you can actually stick the shells on the album cover. Right. If, if you know, if you're making a mini album, um, maybe even stick it inside your scrapbook page if you have one of those big, big albums. But just if if you see something and you know, take it, ticket stubs. I've even saved the wristbands. You know, when you go to a, a theme yeah. park, you get a wristband. You know, right. I collect, or like I, concerts. Yeah. So yeah. concerts. Yes, concerts, yeah. yeah. So I'm there, I'm the person with the scissors cutting them off everyone <laughs> and collecting them up and putting them all. So I keep them all in a big paper bag. Okay. And then I label it, you know, this event and then it's all there ready for when I need to scrapbook that page or that album. Some great tips, thank you for those. And what advice do you have for newbies? So people that have never made a mini album before, maybe they're overwhelmed, <laughs> like, how do I make this? What what advice or tips do you have for them? Um, I would basically start off looking at YouTube. That's where I learned everything that has been here today, basically. So YouTube is definitely the place to go for mini album tutorials. Just gorge on every single tutorial that you think looks good and then choose a tutorial that you think that you would be able to start. So definitely start somewhere. Mm -hmm. Don't just sit there and, <laughs> you know. No, yeah, I understand. And you have a ton of YouTube tutorials on your YouTube channel. So how can people find your tutorials? My tutorials are under Helen Griffin UK and I do have a playlist as well of all of my mini album tutorials. And a lot of them are aimed at beginners and big and beginner friendly. So some of them are quite easy as well. So definitely look, look some up. And this, in, in the YouTube um, search item, just look easy mini album tutorial or beginner friendly. Nice. And definitely start somewhere because you have to start somewhere yeah and, you know you can sit on your chair all day and not start and then you don't have a mini album at the end of the day basically <laughs> right, right so 
Okay, thank you. Thank you for those tips. And now we're gonna move on to something fun. We're gonna do 10 questions, rapid fire questions for Helen to answer. <laughs> Fire myself. <laughs> Let's get ready. <laughs> okay. Question number one, favorite color? Green. Favorite condiment? Ketchup. If you could be from any other decade or era, which would it be? The Egyptian times. Dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Milk chocolate. Favorite food? Chips. If you had a superpower, what would you pick? Freezing time. Favorite film? Stardust. What color is your toothbrush? Green and white. Morning or night person? Nighttime person. Favorite flower? Daffodil. Well, thank you so much, Helen, for answering our question. You're welcome. <laughs> I learned some things today about you. I love ketchup. <laughs> and chips. <laughs> and if you would like to see Helen's Simply Made Crafts album collection, then you can head to craftstash.co.uk.